and a warm welcome on this chilly day to this week's What's Hot. Now, I have been asked on occasion if I started off as a weather girl. I didn't, and I'm not going to start now. But today is Tuesday the 8th of December 2020, and today it is V Day. Not V for victory, but V for vaccines. So, who's got a touch of the JDs? Now, the reason I talk about this is that shares in JD Health surged 34% above the issue price in Hong Kong's biggest share market debut of 2020. Now, JD Health is the online pharmaceutical and healthcare spin-off of China's second biggest online retailer, JD.com. The company raised almost three and a half billion US dollars and it was valued at 29 billion US dollars ahead of its trading debut. And here in the UK, we know that JD Sports attempts to rescue Debenhams fell through. So it's no surprise to learn that JD Sports rival uh, Mike Ashley, founder of Sports Direct and his Fraser's group, have confirmed they're working on a possible last minute rescue of Debenhams. Remember in April, Mike Ashley offered what was thought to be about £125 million for Debenhams, which then was considered too low. Now, it's far from being capricious because Mr Ashley has made no secret of his desire to acquire Debenhams in the past. He built up a 29% stake in the chain, but saw his £150 million holding wiped out last year when the company fell into administration. However, you can't keep him down. And if you look at the history of Sports Direct, you will see that Mr Ashley has been very busy indeed over the past eight years. Just search for Sports Direct history. Well, what's under no doubt at all is that the administrators will not be allowing Debenhams to be sold for a song, which takes me very smoothly to the ticker that is song. It is the company known as Hypnosis Song. It's told investors it's considering an equity raise. Now in November, the company acquired a share of the music catalogue of Grammy Award winning songwriter, record producer and punk funk inventor Rick James. He's behind Super Freak and who can forget those lyrics? She's a very kinky girl. The type you don't take home to mother. Well, back catalogues and the price of and the value of are very kinky. They're hot stuff, as we found out this past week with Bob Dylan selling his back catalogue. And as poet Eddie Gibbons points out, Dylan won't have to work on Maggie's farm no more. Now, do check out the company website of Hypnosis. It's a funky musical read and we get an insight into chief executive Merc Mercuriadis. So while the mercury continues to fall, stay warm, stay well, stay distanced till this time next week. Take care.